Welcome back, everyone. This is a very short video uh, addressing a very specific pain point that is broad. And I'll start with this website to show you an example. Okay, it's relative date filtering. In Excel, it's manual. Ugh. Okay, look at this, for example, highlight dates in the next n days, and then you write this formula, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you can look at your dates in this spreadsheet here over uh, the next 100 days. Okay, that's, first of all, that requires coding, and then even when you do it, uh, it's still working against static data in a spreadsheet. What I have for you here today with Northcraft Analytics is relative date filtering that automatically refreshes with no work on your own, that no work on your part. So let me give an example of that. We're going to pick a metric, call it open incidents, or maybe I'll do closed. Uh, closed incidents, how about that? We'll do closed. Okay, do closed incidents. Then you have, have to pick one of our date dimensions. It does depend on the way that we develop these date dimensions. So we develop them properly in order to ensure that um, this uh, the state filtering, relative date filtering does work. Okay, next I'm going to move it from the column to the row label just because I like the way it presents a little bit better. Now, the date must be on one of these axes, X or Y, and then I simply left click here in the date filters um, on the button there, you see. And instead of saying label filters as it would do if it were another type of um, field that we dropped in or attribute from the BI application, we see date filters. And look at all of your options here that are unlocked. Next week, this week, last week, next month, etc. Let me explain what happens. So essentially, you create a report. I use this relative date filter. We'll you know call it next quarter or, or this quarter. Every time I open this report, since this is automatically being refreshed, it is going to show me this quarter's uh, data automatically because that BI application of ours is live and constantly being populated, and Excel is connecting to the server not, um, it, this data is not stored inside the spreadsheet. Um, it's stored in the server in the, uh, so in the multi-dimensional database. So I thought you would like to know that. So anyway, what we'll do is, you know, show all data for Q4 and watch how it automatically adjusts there. I don't need to touch it. It automatically refreshes. This is my Q4 report. And so you can create as many, um, different combinations of this as you like, label it properly, send it off to your colleagues. Uh, when you share it with them, once again, that uh, it's using a server connection, so it's not storing the connection on your desktop and therefore you know, the data is not live. This is live data. Um, so that's a common objection with Excel. It's removed with the Northcraft Analytics BI applications and for all of them as a version five with advanced metrics for IT. Thank you for your time.